Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do a quick video covering my inventory. Uh, I did one earlier, or maybe a month or two ago, uh, but a lot has actually changed. First, I'm gonna go over the cosmetic mods that I have in my inventory, in case there's any confusion about that. Uh, and then I'm gonna cover some of the, the new stuff I've included and why I think it's viable now. So first off, we're going to go through all the visual mods. So my dagger looks like the bandit's knife. Uh, the answer to any question asking uh, why did you change this weapon to look this way is generally going to be because I have an aesthetic preference and I think it looks cool. Uh, so I went with bandit dagger. The harp is a meme. I made it a tiny claymore. Tryhards will understand. Corvian is uh, not changed. Murky is not changed. My Lothric Knight straight sword is a Moonlight straight sword now, and I did this by shrinking a modded version of the Moonlight great sword down, and I think it looks pretty awesome. My dark sword is a saw cleaver from Bloodborne. Looks epic. My Ring Knight Straight Sword has been modified with a mod called Burning Weapons. My Lorien's Great Sword is now a elongated Lori uh sorry, it's an elongated Firelink Great Sword. I use the Burning Weapons mod for Ring Knight Paired Great Sword as well. Groove Curve Sword is not changed. Follower Saber is not changed. Uchi Katana is a Firelink Greatsword, and I think that looks pretty cool when I do Force Stance, because it looks like it's the same weapon both times. The Twin Axes are the same. I'm going to try and figure out a way to make them into Bloodborne weapons, kind of like what I did to Dark Sword, but it's a little more complicated for Twin Weapons, so they're not changed yet. Heavy Great Axe is just a standing weapon. It doesn't really do anything in the inventory. Black Knight Great Axe is unmodded. The Dragon Slayer Great Axe is made to look like a Black Knight Great Sword that I made bigger. The attacks all work the exact same. And uh, I should mention all of this is client side in case anyone's curious. Uh, no one sees these weapons as different from what they actually are, except for me. I have a reinforced club that looks like a mace. Unmodded great mace, although I might change this at some point, we'll see. Uh, my Leto's great hammer is a ultra great sword, which I'm sure you've seen in my videos. The uh, tailbone spear is unmodded. Ring Knight Spear is modded with Burning Weapons. Split Leaf is unmodded, and Gundyr is unmodded. My Sastis is kind of a brass knuckle thing from Bloodborne. Demon's Fist is unmodded. Bill Great Bow is unmodded. Arbalist is unmodded, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make it into a blunderbuss from Bloodborne. I just haven't got around to it. Uh, let's see. I might change this uh, Priest Chime to look like a white hair Talisman. Oh, and uh, here's one that I'm particularly proud of. My Iron Round Shield is now a Hand Axe. I just think that's fun. And uh, I actually made my Black Knight Shield invisible. Uh, that's, again, just an aesthetic preference. I prefer the look of an empty offhand but I still want to be able to use a shield to block. Alright, so uh, let's see. Let's go over the inventory's tech. Now, if you've seen my previous video, uh, actually, I would recommend you watch that because it'll cover a lot of the swaps I do. I'm going to kind of go through things a little quickly here. But again, all these daggers up here are for quick step and backstabs, as well as step swap into Lido. Uh, and the way that this inventory is set up, 
is basically I have these 16 weapons, a 4x4 block of useful weapons that I want to use often. And from each of these, I can either go up to get to a dagger for quick step, uh, I can go one tick down and get to Gundir. The harp will go to Ring Knight Sphere, unfortunately, and the Corvian goes to Split Leaf, which can actually be useful. If I can uh, if I can do the swap. Darn it. There we go. See I'm I'm good. Don't worry. Uh but yeah, most of these will go down to Gundir. If I go one tick further, they might end they'll end up in kind of this pile of other weapons. But from all of them, three ticks down gets to the Iron Round Shield. And from any of the Iron Round Shields, two ticks up is Leto for a repost. And that's kind of what the whole inventory is built around. Uh, if I go all the way up to Dagger, I know that I can get down to Leto instantly. And I know that below that is Gundir. And I know below that is Iron Round Shield. So I basically have a cycle of four weapons that I then fill in with other weapons. So uh, let's see. We have the four stance swap, as I mentioned earlier. We have uh, Burger Flip from Ring Knight Straight Sword. Just kind of running through some useful swaps. Uh, if I get a parry with the Uchi Katana, I can repost with Lorian's Great Sword. If I get a guard break with Follower Saber, I can repost with Dragon Slayer Great Axe. Uh, let's. I can use Perseverance with Great Mace if I'm in a corner and want to heal. Weapons that I would call main weapons as in weapons that don't need to be swapped to, but can just be used neutrally, would include Ring Knight Straight Sword, Dark Sword, True Curse Sword, Follower Saber, Twin Axes, and Reinforced Club. All right, uh, some other weapons that I have going on here. There's Demon's Fist, which is actually a really nice hard swap because the R1 comes out so fast. If you get the R1, you can combo it into the complete weapon art, which will knock them down, and then you can wake up with Gundir or, well, just about anything else. You can also just wake up with uh, another Demon's Fist attack. I have Millwood Great Bow, which is a great weapon. Uh, both for hitting people from far away and also just uh, preventing individual players from pressuring you too quickly uh, because any attack generally can be traded with and uh, you'll generally win the trade and get the knockdown. Uh, from Millwood Great Bow, if someone's on me too quickly, I can go for a Demon's Fist attack. I can also go for a parry. I can also go for Gundyr. So... Basically, the design of this whole inventory is made up so that any weapon that I am using has several very good options in all directions. One thing that I've been enjoying a lot lately is this uh, Arbalist Crossbow. And I'm using it in my main hand, and again I have a Black Knight Shield in my offhand. And this is great just for, you know, annoying people. And then what you do when they go in to attack you, because you know, you have a crossbow, you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do anything too dangerous. Well you just swap to iron round shields and then you get the repost. And it works a lot. Like it, it's actually really solid, and along with that, crossbow is just very good by itself. Alright, so one of the latest additions to this inventory is actually that I can have an offhand Saestus in my third slot here. And that's what this is. So I have a parry tool now that I can soft swap for my uh, Black Knight Shield. And if I do this, I can then start two ending weapons 
and go for a new swap that I'm trying out, and it's really, really useful. And that is where you go from one weapon, where you're two-handing, but you have an offhand parry tool, and you swap to another weapon. Well, now you're one-handing that weapon, and you can parry. And I've been doing that on my glass cannon build, and I realized I could definitely do it on this build. So I currently have it set up for Ring Knight Spear, and then switch over to Black Knight Great Axe, get the parry, and then Black Knight Great Axe has an amazing, amazing R2 wake up. It's very difficult to roll this if it's timed properly, and it does a ton of damage, and it's two hits, so if you hit and pop tears and then hit again, then it kills them. Really excellent wake up. I can't wait to try it out. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for 300 subs. It's really cool that I had 300 subs so early on. I wanted to hit 300 before Elden Ring came out, but we have so many months to go. Um, if you have any questions about my inventory or any of the mods I'm using, feel free to drop them below. There is a list of the mods I use in the Discord link that is in the uh, that is below the video, so feel free to check that out. And uh, yeah, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you around.